Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I decided to do something a little bit different. Just popped into my head all of a sudden. Um, I'm gonna do like for the next, well, tomorrow's Sunday. We're gonna do uh, Monday through Saturday. Monday through Saturday. So the week of the 11th through the 16th. Okay, what do we have for Taurus for May 11th to the 16th? We're going to do each day. May 11th through the 16th, what do we have for Taurus? What do we have for Monday? Monday the 11th. What do we have? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind, not every reading is for you. What do we have for Monday the 11th for Taurus? Queen of Swords. A six of Wands reversed. What do we have for Tuesday? What do we have for Tuesday the 12th? Tuesday the 12th for Taurus. The Fool. Reversed. And the Eight of Wands. What do we have for the 12th? Wait a minute here. 11th, 12th, 13th. Wednesday the 13th. What do we have for the 13th? What do we have for the 13th for Taurus? What do we have for the 14th? Thursday the 14th. Oh, I got three. We're going to take them. What do we have for the 15th? The 15th for Taurus. There they are. What do we have for the 16th? What do we have for May 16th for Taurus? Two cards, please. What do we have for the 16th? Knight of Cups. Okay, let's get an overall energy for the next five days. Or six days. Is it six days? Yeah. An over, one card overall energy, please. One card for the next six days. The world. Beautiful. Major new beginning here major new beginning for the week ahead for Taurus. So this is a completion, accomplishment, uh, leaving the past behind, a long-term project or a phase or chapter or something is coming to an end. This is being in the flow, being recognized, you've learned a lesson, this is, could be a change in residence, moving, a wholeness. This is a whole new you, evolution, you've learned some sort of lesson, this is a new beginning. One chapter of your life is over, a new one is beginning, so this is a major week for you, because this is a major card. It means you've completed one phase of your life, you're starting a new chapter in some way in some way. So this is being in total balance in the flow, okay? Being, um, well, it's, the, it's a new beginning, okay? You've, you're completing something. This is the last card of the deck, so you're completing something this week. So there's a big life change, put it that way. Something is happening. Um, so let's see. What do we have for... Monday, the Queen of Swords and the Six of Wands reversed. So, the Queen of Swords is very assertive, very um, to the point, matter of fact, intense. She's hard to deal with. And she is. The Queen of Swords can be hard to deal with because she's no bullshit. She's no bullshit. She don't take any bullshit. She's defensive, okay? She wants the truth and nothing but the truth. She speaks the truth. She's very authentic. Six of Wands, no victory. There's no victory here. There's a battle. There's some sort of fight with an ind a very intense individual. This is uh, tough communication, um, a struggle. Definitely, it's, if, if you're arguing with somebody, it's not going to be over yet. It's, it's definitely going to be a struggle. Uh, we're going to have one person that is, is probably going to be speaking the truth, wanting the truth, uh, stating the facts as it is, very intense, very assertive. You may need to think fast if this is you. Um, this is somebody that um, is sharp. Very, very, very sharp. You can't get nothing past this person. Uh, wearing armor, you know, she, this person, looks. she looks as though she has armor on. She's very protective. Um, quick as well hard to get through it's hard to get through to her you can't get through to her you can't get through to her she's got a barrier she's she's some 
I think on Monday there is there is somebody that has a barrier on or a barrier up and there's it's going to be a struggle. Monday is going to be a struggle. There could be a battle. There could be a fight. Um, it's definitely going to be right in the middle. It's not over. If there's a, some sort of fight going on, it's definitely, um, there's a lack of balance. There's a lack of harmony. It's, it may get hot. Okay. It looks like it may get hot. It's hot and cold. It is definitely hot and cold. She's very cold, and she may. So there could be a there could be an individual here that is is cold, and she's cold. Uh, she's struggling. So there's definitely Monday is gonna. It looks as though Monday is gonna be a struggle. Tuesday, a struggle to get through to this person. Doesn't want to talk. Doesn't want to communicate. And if she does, it may be harsh. It could be harsh communication, if any at all. May not communicate at all because there's some sort of battle here with the six of wands reversed. Could be a feeling of being disgraced. You know, somebody she may feel she may feel disgraced with the six of wands. Six of she may feel disgraced. You know. Like a failure. There's a failure, you know, so therefore she's not going to communicate. Um, Tuesday, the Fool Reverse and the Eight of Wands. Now, this is foolish. Somebody was foolish. They may be communicating on Tuesday that they were foolish. Sending messages, I'm, I was foolish, I was reckless, I was scared, I was fearful. You know, this is foolish. So somebody's, this is messages coming through on Tuesday. So somebody's going to be receiving some messages from somebody or some sort of communication. You know, I was stupid. I was foolish. I was dumb. I, 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 whatever. Could be an apology. This is definitely foolish behavior. Made a poor judgment call. Somebody was stupid. So on Tuesday, somebody's going to be receiving some messages. That's what, Tuesday the 12th? Wednesday. Wednesday. Ah, Wednesday, this is um, trapped, mental turmoil, stuck, all tied up. Worried, this person is worried. We have somebody here that is really having a lot, very worried about their fresh start, worried if, they're, if this is going to move forward. This person is worried. Yeah, the next card is a Nine of Swords. And the first, before it is the seven of swords. They may ha somebody may have done something deceptive, deceptive, or they uh, did something that they regret, and now um, they're stuck in a situation. It's really bothering them. It's like they can get out of it, but they haven't found a way out of it yet. So on Wednesday, this is a new beginning. Can we, it is a fresh start. So somebody is probably worried about a fresh start. They may have lied because before it is the Seven of Swords. So somebody may have lied. They didn't tell the truth. Now they're, now they're trapped. They're trapped. They could be trapped in fear. Maybe they're fearful of, you know, stepping outside of their comfort zone. Or they just wanted to stay in the safety zone. And, then, you know, the only way that they're going to get through to this person is to step, out, step outside of their comfort zone. Um, there is, so I think um, there's messages coming on Tuesday. Somebody may want, you know, they were foolish. They may want to start over. They're not getting anywhere. They may continue to communicate that, you know, there's 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 still an opportunity. They're still they're very attracted. You know, they want to do this. Like, you know, this could this could be a fresh start. This is an exciting opportunity. It's an op opportunity for growth. This is a spark. Uh, this is a flame. It's a match, but there's fear here. There's fear of stepping outside of a comfort zone. So I think on Wednesday, we have somebody that is, is fearful. They're fearful of a new beginning. They're fearful of uh, giving it a chance, but this is just go for it. Somebody may say, will you give me a chance? That kind of thing. I was I was too scared. I feels like there's a lot of fear here because the fool is 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 fear as well. The fool reversed. So I think that on Wednesday there's a there's a chance for a new beginning. There's a chance to maybe rekindle a flame or something, but there's a lot of worry. So um, I think we need another card for Wednesday. I think we need another card. Now there could be a sudden change because this is very sudden. Somebody may suddenly decide to. Uh, step outside of their comfort zone. It could happen all of a sudden. Three of co coins, three of pentacles. That is communicate, work together, um, compromise. 
somebody is going to be making a compromise. They want to start fresh. They want to start over. could happen very suddenly. So there's a sudden opportunity to, somebody may be starting to give. They may be starting to loosen up, you know, on Wednesday. They may start starting to loosen up. This person's not budging. They may be fearful of starting over, fearful of starting, giving somebody a chance on Wednesday. No, I don't want to. I want to play it safe because this is playing it safe, but communicating. So I think on Wednesday there's some sort of communication or working together or teamwork or whatever, trying to uh, bring beauty to a situation or whatever, trying to fix it or create something, both very creative, you know, um, Thursday. Let's go down to Thursday. What is Thursday? Thursday is the 14th. So the Emperor, the Chariot, and the Knight of Coins reversed. So the Emperor takes charge, takes ownership, um, has no fear, is ready to fight. So it could be dealing with an Aries. I'm not sure. It doesn't have to. It could be a Taurus. Uh, Taurus, this is like an alpha, okay? An alpha male or very masculine energy, whatever. This is somebody that is a warrior, somebody that is battle ready, somebody that is ready to fight. He knows what he has to do. So on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Thursday the 14th, this guy is going to take charge, okay? He's going to take ownership. He's going to he, he's gonna do what he has to do, okay? He makes a decision. He's going to do it. There's no stopping him. He's a fighter. He's a soldier. He's a warrior. He's... he's uh, a king, right? He's the king of all kings. The emperor has no fear. He takes responsibility. He's going to do something. He's going to make a move, okay? He may he may go someplace. He may make a he may drive somewhere. He he knows what he has to do. He's going to do it, okay? He's going to take a chance. Whatever he's going to do, he's planned, he's thought about, it, he's made his decision. But the knight of pentacles uh reversed is irresponsible. Um inflexible, boring, unhealthy, jealous, delay. There's been a delay. So this guy has been, he may be jealous now. He may be jealous because he lost something because he is a procrastinator. This is a procrastinator. irresponsible but this is changing directions it is it's literally changing directions so we have this person who didn't take ownership or didn't plan on making any moves or didn't plan on doing anything you know this is somebody who's lazy that is now making a move somebody's making a move with a chariot they're mastering their emotions and they're going for a ride they're going for a ride they're going someplace making a decision to go someplace so this could be a father could be a husband I don't know who it is but this is somebody that is very masculine that is taking a ride that he has not really wanted to do he didn't want to do it he didn't want to do it because he was irresponsible he didn't want the responsibility or something like that he may have felt like he was inadequate. He may have felt like he didn't have enough to offer. You know? Not qualified. This guy could be a gambler. I'm not sure. Anyway, this is taking a ride. So on Thursday, this is um, traveling. We have a masculine that is traveling somewhere. He is going somewhere. He's on a mission. This guy is on a mission. He is. But this is, and this is something that he did not want to do for some reason. Maybe he didn't want a commitment or he didn't want to, uh, he didn't want to put in effort or something like that. There's going to be movement. Somebody could show up, put it that way. They could show up. They could actually, um, arrive. This could be an arrival. Determined. A lot of determination here. Determined to... Uh, we have a masculine that is determined to do something. Come back. Because this is come back. Like, because this is coming back from the dead. He's determined to... Uh, make things alive again. That's what it looks like to me. Doesn't want it to end. To fix it.
but it feels like there's another person that says saying no it feels like somebody is saying no I don't want to be a part of this it does anyhow um, Friday Friday the 15th king of coins reversed in the strength reversed so the king of coins in reversed uh, is egotistical may not have good intentions doesn't have um, may may be a gambler may waste money may not have anything um, on Friday this is a loss of and there could be a loss of money here now a boss could be ending somebody's because this is a boss I don't know. Somebody could be getting laid off. I hate to say that, but take a hike. Take a hike! Anyway, let's talk about this. Friday. King of Coins reversed. A loss of finances. A loss of money. I mean, that's why there's something going on here with this Knight of Coins. Somebody could become unemployed on Thursday. And this is you made your bed, now lie in it. Somebody may feel stabbed in the back. Anyhow. Take a hike. Anyhow. On um, Friday, King of Coins in Reversed. King of Pentacles. Um, lazy. This is a lazy individual that makes poor decisions. Is weak. Is cowardly. Definitely feels inadequate. With these two cards there could be a, an element of depression on Friday this person lacks respect lacks respect for others so we have it we have an individual here that lacks respect for others and enjoys the control that they have over other people this on Friday, I feel like this person is grieving. They're grieving over their poor decisions. So whoever made this poor decision based on, and maybe they needed to prove a point, they wanted to be in control, now they're sad. So on Friday, it's like, you made your, on Thursday, this person's saying, I feel like they're saying no. And then on Friday, the person that get that hears the no is grieving, oh, and they're sad because... They made the poor decision, whatever whatever they did. Somebody made a poor decision. And on Friday, they're grieving over it. They're sad. This is grieving over a loss. Friday is sad. Maybe there's been some sort of death. I don't know. Something may have ended. So... This is grieving. Friday is a day of sadness. I'm sorry. I'm not going to pretend. I mean, I don't, it is. It's feeling weak, feeling overwhelmed, perhaps, over a poor decision. Or a, a lack of success. Or somebody did something uh, foolish up here. Anyhow, um, Saturday. Moment of decision. Decision is being made about a uh, love knight of cups somebody is going to be wanting a relationship making an offer or communicating their feelings feel you know expressing their feelings they've made a decision that you know they want this relationship or they want a relationship they may be um, coming to pick somebody up or invite there could be an invite there could be an offer um, of some sort the knight of cups somebody, I want a relationship this you know this is a romantic somebody has made a decision because this is the moment of decision to leave the past behind and go after love so on Saturday Saturday is a day of love it's where there's an opportunity for a relationship to blossom or a relationship to grow or something like that somebody may be expressing their feelings and opening their heart on Saturday 
two people could be coming together. You see the two, and twos are about partners. So it feels like on Saturday, two people could be coming together and supporting each other emotionally. But Friday is going to be, this person is probably going to be upset. Um, there's definitely an up On Friday, it's, it's like crying, okay? It is. It's grieving over, you know, a mistake. Somebody made a mistake. It's like, oh my God, I can't believe what I did. So that's on Friday. On Saturday, the decision is made about a relationship that is wanted. I want this. So we do have a new beginning here. That is, this is somebody's learned a lesson, and I can see that they have. Somebody has learned a lesson because this is a lesson has been learned. So by the end of this week. I feel as though with this Knight of Cups that there's an offer of love. Somebody is wanting romance. I think it's it's going to be a sensitive, intense week um, where, you know, a relationship is growing the hard way. Good luck.